Oh. Seriously? are starting to enjoy this field, the front field. I asked Toby if he wanted to stay with the sheep or check the mail and he said stay with the sheep. <laughs> so taking a little walk down to check the mail. We got a tractor! I can't even believe it right now. We just got ourselves a tractor with the mower. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man! <laughs> Ooh, that is crazy that I am pulling a tractor to our house right now. I can't even believe it. I am so overwhelmed with how good God is to us. Gotta go, the light turned green. Can't really see it, but there it is! So here's our new tractor. So here's our tractor. Take off the trailer. Okay, I'll take it off the trailer. on the sure go ahead on the uh getting them in there getting them to follow us and don't go in their home but jared is the master shepherd i guess i don't know if they follow your voice or if they follow the food this oh well don't get mad at me here wait let me get it let me get it let me get it hey girls guess what we got a tractor today Easy, Toby. Oh, that's just garbage. Look at there. You can see it in daylight now. Do you want to hop up there and give it a shot? Hey, that's pretty cool. Do you like it? Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to get lots of work done with it, huh? training the sheep to follow me thing isn't going the greatest because sometimes they follow me and sometimes they come when they're called but when they're out in the open they don't really want to listen so Toby don't scare them. Today's level of productivity productivity is take the hardware off the cabinets and possibly prep them for painting. I have never painted kitchen cabinets before and I have heard horror stories of how it goes south very quickly so uh i'm gonna take you guys along with me and see how this whole process goes and i feel like this is a good this is a good beginner cabinet because there's no little details or anything and i've decided i'm not gonna paint the inside it's fine and i'll probably line it with shelf liner or maybe even like a pretty fun wallpaper or something so i'm not painting the inside i might paint the inside of the actual doors but yeah let's do this thing Jared always gets so irritated when people use flat flathead stuff. Like, who would ever use a flathead? That is annoying. Alright, one down. Two more to go. What are you doing? 
property is pretty dumpy and pretty dirty right now, but I am, it's such a beautiful day outside and I'm just sitting here imagining when it's beautiful and when I can sit on my porch and not be overwhelmed by the construction materials sitting all over the place and be able to look at a beautiful yard. I cannot wait for that day. But the, it's, the, it's all about the process, right? So hopefully we'll be able to make some good progress coming up here soon. Jared's still working super late these days. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that'll get fixed soon and we can start getting some progress done. And we can start working on this property with the tractor. That would be fun. I know Jared's anxious to get to that. Toby's loving all this mud from the rain. Careful. See him falling head first in it. I don't know if our little tree is gonna survive. I hope it does. I don't know if it will. Today's the day. day! We're getting cabinets! Cabins! Look at here. Say it's cabinet day! <laughs> what? The kitchen's so nice. Come on in! Daddy! Toby, hand it! Hey, Daddy! Hey, Daddy! Oh, sit down! Sit down! Sit down! Whoa! Whoa! It feels bigger than I thought it would, doesn't way it? way bigger. It's like way more room. I know. Isn't it great? Okay, so phase one of the kitchen cabinets is finished for the day. We should find out next week sometime when we get the actual countertops, but the cabinets are in. We're waiting on a couple other things for the actual cabinets, like some hardware and stuff. And then we're gonna get the countertops hopefully next week. So I don't know how possible it's gonna be because we have two birthday parties to go to this weekend, but we would really like to, like we've been saying the last couple of weeks, actually finish the pine so that that's all done. All the overhead work is completely finished before the countertops get in. But let me show you our cabinets. We got a rustic alder is what it's called. So you can see a lot of knots and stuff in it. There's my beautiful sink. About gave me a heart attack watching him put it in because it's so heavy. There is where the stove goes. It is so much bigger, so much more open than we thought it would be. Me and Jared were both saying that. Like, I think I'm gonna be able to have a little rolling butcher block island in here with no problem at all. Cause you can roll it around, move it. But we love them, they're beautiful. Over in this corner, we'll have a knob, but we've got a, a lazy Susan, so that'll be super helpful and saving space throwing things away. Boom, feeling fancy. <laughs> so weird. And then on this side is where we'll have the blind corner that goes up and in. They forgot to bring that today, so they'll bring it next time when they come. But woohoo! It is so beautiful. That's my monster hood vent. We're gonna try to get that up and mounted today. Tape measure. You gotta be able to find tape measure. Jared's getting a new Carhartt out with the work one, in with the work one. Jared's getting a new Carhartt out with the work one, in with the church one. <laughs> you like it? It's comfortable, yeah. It's Sherpa lined, don't you know? Dun, dun, dun. Time to clean this nasty hood hat. So far. That bubbling juice back in there. It's cold. Real good. That 
is so satisfying. There we go. Jared's putting in new switches for the hood vent because when I bought it, the two switches were broken. But sometimes it's worth doing extra work and fixing things so you can have super nice things. And you save a lot of money. And Jared, Jared always teases me. He's like, when are you going to buy something that doesn't need to be fixed? Seriously. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, you buy quality things. Like this hood vent is, I'll have to look it up, but a very, 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 very expensive custom one that just happened to be broken a little bit. And with a few bucks of fixing the switches. How do you know how much I paid for these switches? My guess is like three fifty. Wrong again. Did you pay two fifty eight? Three ninety nine each. Oh, okay. I think it was still well worth it. Maybe. Look how more. cute they are. Alright, so troubleshooting this uh, exhaust fan and light. Um the guy who we got it from was messing with the wires and this, both switches were bad. And so I had to try to figure out what was going on. So I believe I have it hooked up correctly, how it should be right now. Um, but that is after a blown bulb. So now I can't test it to make sure that it's truly working correctly. And also after a nice big spark when the wires were not wired correctly. But now I think we might be good. <laughs> but it's a bummer because everyone's closed and so I can't really test to see if I got it right this time. I hope so. <laughs> it's All been right. a pain. Stayed up late. But I think I got it. We'll see. Bought new light. And I'm not even going to change out my church clothes when I try it. So you will be here to witness, right along with me. All right, got to plug in my extension cord. Not recommended. Not recommended. So don't try it at home, unless you feel confident. But anyway, not recommended. Okay, oh, Harris. You're gonna plug it in before you put the bulb in. Yeah. It's a great idea. Thanks. You're gonna scare me. Okay, it works, okay. Quality sound, mind you. Are you nervous? It's gonna blow while you're hit. The switch is off, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I bought the right size. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, Don't those freak you out putting them in. I always feel like they're gonna break. Please, Lord. <laughs> I hooked it up so many different ways. Got a nice big spark. Uh, pop the breaker a few times. I blew a bulb up. You do have to. So All right, ready? Extra sparks, honey. At least I'm standing back in case it blows. I don't think it's gonna like blow and pop or anything. Well, you don't know. Ah. Oh. Seriously. Maybe the starter or the... Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, you think that's funny? Do you think the starter is bad? Try another bulb. Know. Maybe it's a bad bulb. It's not a bad bulb. This is the face of determination and frustration. If you've never worked with uh, fluorescent lights before, it's not like your standard light bulb socket. There's a lot of components and it's kind of confusing. When I first bought the hood vent, the guy quickly unwired a couple things and wired it back together just to hardwire everything because um, the switches were bad. So he could plug it in and show me that the lights and the fan worked. And in the process, we, like I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. And so now Jared's trying to figure out how to get the light and the fan on their own switch like they're supposed to be. And it's just been uh, quite the process. But it will be well worth it when he's done. We've been doing so much research on Google and YouTube and just trying to look at diagrams and stuff. So he's thinking it's the starter fuse that went bad and I have been saying that this whole time but that's okay. He went to the store to see if he can get one. He's gonna try to go to Rainey's and if not he might go all the way to Lowe's because he's really determined to do this. But 
uh, as he's, while he's gone, I'm gonna go start cutting some pine and getting all the bad stuff cut out so that hopefully we can get some pine up on the ceiling today. Here's... Went and picked up a pack of these. Five bucks. Four, four dollars and 20 cents. <sighs> Come on, baby. This is what we're hoping for. And if so, Katie was right the whole time. <laughs> but we were having issues with it not even putting power over to the starter, so. This light turns on, I might cry tears of joy. And if it doesn't, you and might cry. if it cry. blows, I'm definitely gonna cry. Okay. <gasps> tears of joy! I was gonna say, are there tears? When it was wired up, how we got it, the light would turn on automatically, and no switch would cut it off. And same with the fan it would just blow and so we bought new switches did some rewiring what's that you don't want to use the fan right now hold on hold on you want the light off <laughs> i'm nervous because yesterday it didn't turn off <gasps> it turned off gonna oh. turn back on what do you have to tell me you know what you're the bomb. <laughs> and? And you're right. What's the next part? Well, I wasn't next to I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I started working on it. And went and bought new switches last night. Did some wiring. Blew the bulb. Had some sparks. <laughs> but we made it. And you know what? For a total of $10, we fixed this unit. And Katie got it at a smoking deal already, so we fixed it. Was it worth a day and a half? To. Not actually, technically a day. It was. It was like what two hours today, <laughs> and probably three last night, <laughs> and all because it's fluorescent and fluorescent's stupid. Well, we've never messed with flu fluorescent electrical before. Yeah, but now we know easy stuff. I mean, the hot power goes to the switch, which cuts the power. From there, it goes into the ballast into the light fixture from there goes to the other side to the starter relay this you're repeating fuse. everything i taught you last night and then the neutrals <laughs> connect and uh, we have we got the power but let's hear that fan again no please okay friday night we talked about it's it friday night anyway um Friday night, we decided that we were gonna do our best and decide to not take a nap on Sunday. We got home and got carried away and started working and stuff, but but we want a nap, but we're not gonna do one because that's what we had said. We're building a little frame to set the hood vent on. To hold it in the perfect place the whole entire time we install it. Two screws in the sides. Right. 
So let's see, let's see your height. I like it because the cabinet's coming kind of here. So yeah, I would hit my head if it was hanging over. Right, but, like, but we push the it cabinet back protects over. everything. And Carl from Brothers uh, measured it to go ahead and go here, and he's an expert in appliances and cabinets. So, and we did a lot of research. So it sits to see. back a couple inches from yeah. from the front. But that's super common. Yeah. So it's not centered with the island or with the stove, but once the island is finished or the peninsula is finished, it'll be good. Oh, easy. I don't want to turn on. You turn on. No, it's your new. Let me hold the camera for you. It's your new Venta hood. All right. All right, folks. Here she goes. Ready? Which one's the light? I think the left. The light first. Okay. Did I get you? No. Nothing? Mm-mm. Did you turn the breaker on? <laughs> That's what I was waiting for you to do. Don't try yet. Breaker's on? Breaker's on now. Alright, light. The light works. And the fan. Fan works. Some attic fluff. So we haven't hooked up the actual ducting yet, so I have to do that, but that is a luxury appliance right there. Thank you, Lord. Picked up our Home Depot order. We got a fan and some wallpaper stuff for our bedroom closets and a ceiling light for the kitchen. Yay, we're going the wrong way. Wrong way. Hey, folks. Hi, guys. Uh, Hi, guys. We're standing in front of our prized weekend project. Our only weekend project. A Venta hood. <laughs> yep. But we had some complications, but we figured it out and saved a lot of money by doing it ourselves yeah. and fixing a product. But once again, our weekend has not been as full as we were hoping, but actually, we, no, we weren't We really, had some birthday parties we, we had to go to. We were hoping for a full week this week. Because yeah. we knew about the birthday parties. We knew about the birthday parties, but we were hoping for more than just this. But we had some complications, but now... Progress is nonetheless progress. Accomplished. And we're grateful for it. And it's going to be great that you're going to have tomorrow off, right? <laughs> I hope so. So Dave, hook me up, please. Come on, Dave. And if you do, then we'll start working on the pine. This will be the third week that pine on the ceiling and walls in the kitchen has been our goal. But that's all right. That's how you get things done. You have goals. If you don't meet them, you just try again next time. Thank you. And from us at the, the Hess Country Farm, Bandit, say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you gotta look this way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Oh yeah, you look like a mannequin in the, under the store light. Okay, here, I'm modeling my car heart. It's my car heart. <laughs>